Hey, hey, this is Old Time Hobbies. And the other day I had a customer bought one of these 2002 Major League Baseball card heritage boxes. This is the 2002 series, second year. So these will be 1953 style cards. And the set was from 2002. Now, he was concerned because when he got the box, the, the security seal was broken inside the shrink wrap. If you look carefully, it does say tops all over it. So this is the original shrink wrap. This box is almost identical to the one that I sent out. I bought these from David Adams Card World. They are good. These are read buys. And, and I bought them for me to open, but also that I put them in the store. And if somebody wants them more than I do, then they'd be wanting to buy them. So I sold one the other day. And the customer, after he opened the box, I peeled the wrapper off and then realized the security seal was broken. All right, so if you look carefully, the security seals were designed to hold the box closed. That's really all they were for. Um, even back when these boxes were brand new, these security seals were not all that great. It's just thin mylar with a little bit of paper on the back. So what happens is over time, these boxes did not have lips. So you could push the box in just in normal movement or picking the box up, and it would go down also. And as you can see on this one, security seal is broken but it's still factory sealed on the wrap so no one's been into the box this is common on anything early tops uh, they were this way on the heritage they were this way on the archives and archives reserve and all those boxes that didn't have the standard lip where it would tuck into the box so this one see that not tuck in and hold it just literally is like a uh, like an old shoe box. So these are reprints of the original boxes they used in 1953. The only difference is it says Heritage. And the original ones would have just said Topps Baseball 1953 Major League Picture Cards. And that's all it would have said back in those days. So they look exactly the same all the way around until you get to the back and then they've got all the modern stuff on it. You know, the gum had servings and all that. It didn't do that originally on them. Alright, so... Um, some of the autographs available in the 2002, uh, Alvin Dark, Al Rosen, Sean Heiss, Bob Feller, Bob Shantz, Dom DiMaggio, Dick Grote, Enos Slaughter, George Kell, Gil McDougall, Hort Wilhelm, Joe Black, Johnny Podgers, Monty Urban, uh, Ernesto Minoso, uh, Phil Rizzuto, Preacher Rowe, Ray Boone, Roy Face, Whitey Ford, Willie Mays, Warren Spahn, Yogi Berra. Group 2 was Alex Rodriguez. Group 3 was Roger Clemens. Group 4 was Jim Edmonds. Group 5 was Brian Giles and Christian Guzman. Uh, Tops Legends autographs, Frank Howard, Mickey Lowich, uh, Frank Robinson, Bobby Thompson, and Vita Blue. And then it says down below, these uh, autographs are subject to change. Well, back in 2002, I actually pulled a Willie Mays in the case that I got. Uh, 2002, there were two autographs per case, so these are really hard to get autographs out of. You would get two autographs and four jerseys per 12-box case. It's one every other box. All right, so evidently the customer only got base cards. Hey, Jordan. So I'm going to go ahead and open the other box because uh, it's the only one left, and I don't have any 2002 stuff left. So I bought these to restock my supply with and work on my set because I have a partial set not finished. So I'm going to go ahead and break the seal. And then I'll show you this box again. So as you can tell, this is factory sealed. This is all tops fun. This normal stuff. This was well taken care of because it was probably indoors. All right, so as you see, this box does not have a lip. It looks like an old shoe box. So that's why this little seal, which is extremely fragile now, just fell apart. So not to worry as long as they're factory sealed. There shouldn't be an issue with the packs or anything. So there's your deal and that's what the packs looked like all right so all factory seal packs there is no way you can open these and reseal them these are the good ones all right here we go let's see what we get now these had random short prints they were not the last 75 cards in the set so it's very difficult to know exactly where they're going to be the other fun part about this is you also get the gum so 1953s, here we go, Greg Maddox, Derek Jeter, 
Craig Council. Man, this brings back memories. Gary Sheffield. One stick of rather... Yeah, that gum's actually probably edible. It's still soft. Palmero. Dante Bichette. Here we are looking for Bo Bichette. Here's Dante, his dad. I think he was only three, four years into his uh, career at this point. Corey Lytle, Tony Batista, and the dreaded checklist. Very nice to actually see a checklist in good shape. And they actually do list everybody in the set, so it's pretty cool. All right, that was number one. Ichiro is the first card in the set. All right, Brian Giles, Lance Berkman, Uribe, Rob Bell for the Rangers. Another wonderful piece of gum. Rivera, Lopez, Matt Williams, Randy Johnson. Jason Lane, Quinn. Nick Neubauer, Kurt Schilling, Jason Giambi, Nucci Varner, Damon Miller, Jose Jimenez. Huh. I wonder if that's Eloy's dad. Could be. It's the right time period for him. Adam Dunn, Rich Aurelia, Pokey Reese in the Cincinnati, Jeff Cirillo, Corey Koski, Beltran, Roberto Hernandez, Preston Wilson. This kid was out of Arlington High School. He was one of the best prospects that came out of Texas during that time period. All right, nice. We got checklist two of two. So if you go down and look at the inserts, you had New Age Performers, then and Nows, Classic Renditions, that was one they don't make anymore. Uh, then you had Clubhouse Collection, and there were only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there were only 12 cards in the cl in Clubhouse Collection back in those days. You had Collection Duels, Matthews and Maddox, Barra Posada, Bauer, Patterson, Kel, Garcipara, Dark, Aurelia, Mays, and Bonds. That's the one you wanted. Grandstand Glory Stadium. Autographs, real ones. Not very many of them. Probably less than 25 autos. Uh, Guzman, Jimmy Rollins, Brian Giles. Uh, Close Collection. Auto Relics. Barra, Kell, Alvin Dark, and Willie Mays. So pretty limited into what you can get. So the odds of getting anything out of these boxes were really hard. So just to let you know, remember this stuff early... Very, very tough product to get anything out of. That's why it wasn't very popular. I mean, people bought it and then kind of went, eh, I don't know about this. You're not getting anything. And uh, so it really started, oh, this Carlos Lee, it really didn't uh, take off until about 2007, 2008 is when all this really got going. Classic renditions, Jason Giambi, 1953 to 2002. John Rodriguez, Ricky Lede, Abraham Nunez. So, so far, we've gotten one insert. Can you imagine opening a Heritage box today and getting one insert with, in five packs? Everybody be jumping up and down and screaming, where's my stuff? Ramirez, Larry Walker, and we got a Bob Feller patch of some kind. Now, back in the old days, everything had a serial number on it. Bob Feller, and that's what you get. Authentic stadium seat from Cleveland Municipal Stadium. Grandstand glory, Bob Feller. All right, so it's not numbered, but it does have a certificate showing that it is an actual piece of uh, original memorabilia. So that's the kind of stuff you get. So this one had one. It's not an autograph, but back in these days, these jerseys were, jersey back cards were almost as expensive as autos. That's probably $40, $50 card now. Bob Feller, Cleveland Indians. 
These were so rare. They weren't numbered, but I bet there were less than 200 of each of them. And some more gum. Ah, then and now, Duke Snyder and Sammy Sosa. Aubrey Huff, Debbie Cruz, Paul O'Neill. All right, so odds of getting any type of memorabilia were one every other box, one in 48. So this box had one, the last box didn't. So this is the way it goes. Paul Waduka, Matsuo Yoshi, Edgar Alfonso. Classic renditions, Roger Cedeno. Carse, Pedro Feliz, Julio Lugo. I'll get out my big book after we finish this and we'll look up and see what the short prints were in 2002. I don't have them all memorized anymore. It's been way too long. Mark Grace, Arizona Diamondbacks. Olerud, Adrian Beltre. Look how young he is in 2002. Just a kid. Still playing with the Dodgers at that point. That's probably a $10 card right there. Tavares and Nunez. If you didn't get this stuff back when it came out, you probably didn't get it. Mark Burley for the White Sox. Very young Mark Burley. Frank Thomas, Perez, Ortiz, Coffey, Aaron Mayette. Man, this kid was supposed to be the best pitcher to come out in forever. Never panned out for the Rangers. What's up, Jordan? You having a good day? Just something I wanted to do to alleviate fears. Not to mention have a little fun because that's what I bought it for. Oh, but see, like that one stuck to the card. So that's got a gum stain on it. So remember when they did the gum stain reprints? Well, that's why, because the gum packages would stick to the cards. Unfortunately, that is a 2002 Albert Pujols, so that's his second year card. That stinks. Yeah, I'll sleeve it so it doesn't get any worse. Oka, Apier, Garrett Anderson. That ah, stinks. Hopefully there'll be another one in here. That's why they quit putting gum and stuff. The things packs will get old and tear the cards up. Bernie Williams, Jermaine Dye, Matt Stairs, Cubs. No idea which ones of these are short prints. Even where they are in the pack. Wickman. Then and now of Al Rosen for Cleveland Indians and Brett Boone of the Seattle Mariners. Burkett. Now right, we've got two sets of checklists. Corey Hunter. And those things were neat in the old days. Damn, got a floaty in the eye. Hang on. Mm. All right, there we go. New Age Performer, Sammy Sosa. Ah, look at there, Fernando Tatis, Sr. Do that set now, it would be in uh, Washington Nationals to get that card. J. Bell and Craig House. Uh, 
you know, we ought to do a mixture sometime and do a do like a break that's uh, random boxes of heritage from different years. Do like hobby boxes from each of the first ten years or something, just for something different. I have to try to get them together and do that sometime. That'd be fun. Get some 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. It's got really good rookies in it. And a lot of Hall of Famers. I don't know if I want to do this old stuff. But stuff's getting too expensive. 2001 boxes are up to around $250 to $300 now for a box. And you just don't see that much of it anymore. Uh, we've had these at 189 and uh, that's why he was concerned. So, of course, I want to dispel any issues with old stuff. And if you buy old boxes, just remember, you don't expect to get what you get out of one today. It's not the same. This is back when cards like that were rare. That, that wood seat card from the stadium would have been extremely rare in 2002. They were just starting, Upper Deck had just started putting two jerseys per box, and they weren't even game used. They were just generic jerseys thrown in there, and they absolutely killed the market on jerseys. After that, you, you could get money for the old original ones, but you couldn't get anything for the current ones. Ray Durham, White Sox. Andrew Jones, Stelia Fletcher. Let's see, 2002 was uh, Joe Maurer. So the Joe Maurer in here is a rookie, if we see one. There was no updates in 2002, so he should be in the set if he was a rookie that year. Scott Dunn, Nathan Hayes, Andy Pettitz, Todd Helton, David Bell, Daryl Ward, Rondell White. So you just don't get a whole lot in these boxes. So, you know, if you buy one of these and spend the money... You're looking for the short prints, and you're looking at base cards, because some of these base cards can be quite expensive. Derek Lee, Florida Marlins, Galarraga, Eric Gagne, Adam Pettyjohn. There's a name I hadn't heard in a while. But to the true heritage fanatic, <laughs> and there are a few of us, uh, this stuff is gold. Brad Osmus, Ruben Sierra for the Rangers, Kip Wells, Jason Kendall. Another player, underrated, played his, played his almost his whole career at the uh, Pirates. Never got the respect he should have had because he was on such a horrible group of teams. Get a chrome? We got a chrome. Good deal. You don't even necessarily get a chrome every box in this. Ben Gree for Tampa Bay. I know his uh, sister and his parents really well. Tom Grieve. Ben, ben Petrick. All right, our Chrome card is just a base. Bud Smith. And it's numbered to 553. So 182 of 553. So there are only 553 base ones, the refractors were out of 153. And then they had a 101. Uh, I, I don't even know if they had a 101 back then. I'll have to look. I know they had a refractor and they were numbered like 153. Wilton Guerrero, Ben Davis, and Mercedes. Let's see what the odds are on that. All right, Heritage High Numbered Cards, 1 and 2. Sequentially Numbered Heritage Chrome Parallel, 1 and 29. So maybe there wasn't even a refractor. I'll have to look. New Age Performers were 1 and 15, then and now 1 and 15. Renditions, 1 and 12. So you're guaranteed two of those. You're only guaranteed one each of New Age and then and now. Uh, autographs. Hand numbered autographs, one in 21,000. Real one autographs, group one, one in 346. Group two, one in 6363. Group three, one in 4908.
Group 4, 1 in 3196. Group 5, 1 in 1498. Overall, real one autographs, 1 in 180. There were 300 and roughly 392 packs in the case. 200, so you're not even guaranteed an auto. One eight, you're guaranteed two autos a case. So, there you go. Relics. One in 192. So about two per. And you're actually, it's easier to get an autograph than a relic. And then it says here, overall autographs, one in 124. Overall relics, one in 78. Overall autographs and relics, one in 48. So you'll get six per box. So it'll be probably four relics, four relics and two autographs. Craziness. What's up, Big Sky? How you doing, man? Yeah, I know. That's the way it goes. The poo holes. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of cool stuff. Uh, I had a guy buy a box. And the seal was broken inside the shrink wrap, so he was just questioning. So I did a little. I'm doing a little video just to tell about these and how this box can. It's so easy to bust that seal on these boxes as long as it's shrink wrapped. It's good. And this box had a relic in it, so had a Bob Feller. These are not easy to get either. Aaron Rowland, Furcal, Bonilla. Oh my God. It had an autograph too. Look at that, Bob Feller. Wow. That's cool. It had a Feller and a Feller uh, back card. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad I got it. Three five, let's see, three five three seven zero oh, six nine is their sticker for authentication. R O B F, nice Bob Feller, good autograph too. It's a nice clean auto. Very nice. It's a hundred bucks in Beckett. Yeah, it's probably way more than that now because Beckett's. Kind of worthless, but it's a good. It's a good. Uh, you know they haven't gone up on anything on those in forever. Relics numbered, not numbered either. Pretty cool though. I like. I was not expecting that. It's been a long time since I opened any of this. These are reprints of 1953 tops. Thank God they're not the same size as the 53 tops. That would have been uh, a little overkill. Rob Beck. Wilson Benement, Jay Spurrier, Mike Peoples, Kevin Tappany. And last pack. I don't think we can get much worse of a box than that. <laughs> All right, Jerry Hairston, Phillips, Richie Sexton, Jason Tyler, Luis Gonzalez, Damian Jackson, Millwood, and Joe Creedy. All right, so once again, man, these old boxes were not designed for that seal to hold up well. So even though it was factory sealed, that seal can be broken. It's not going to hurt the value of the box. It was factory sealed, no issues. Had the jersey, had the auto in both. So it's cool. Love these old packs, man. Just cool stuff. 
All right, so that was just to kind of get you an idea of what was in this 2002. Now, this one was pretty neat. Um, you know, not every box is going to have one of these. And certainly, it's been a long time since I've seen a box that had both. It is possible because in those days, the odds were different. They box loaded them, and that's the way it came. So definitely case hit. <laughs> Very nice. All right. If you had the Indians in that break, you were doing really well. All right. And that will do it for old-time hobbies. Just remember, guys, old vintage wax and stuff is a lot different than the modern stuff we buy now. So you can't judge this box. If this didn't have the autograph in the jersey, it still was a nice box because it had a good variety of cards. I didn't see any dupes in there. You know, we got a couple of more cards than we were supposed to as far as the inserts go. Um, so it was nice. So that's how, uh, that's how this stuff works. So don't be afraid to spend a couple hundred bucks on one of these old boxes. You're not going to find them. Uh, I haven't, you know, six months ago I found two boxes. I haven't seen any since, and I do look every week at a lot of different places looking for old wax. All right, y'all have a good one. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching Old Time Hobbies.